I believe we are live without further ado. And there we are. We're live, just like that. All right, well, I, I, I was going to try, I wanted to make sure that I squeezed in one last video before uh, Monday, because uh, Monday, uh, tomorrow, I'm not going to be able to, to do anything. Sunday is Super Bowl Sunday. Nobody's going to want to watch a video live. Dave, how are you? SJ, how are you? Tina the Board Gamer, you are live. Thank you. Uh, Ice Guardian, how are you? So I figured I'd sneak this one in. Um, I was going to try to play something, and I was actually going to try to call Tina. But instead, um, I found a big pile of stuff because I got confirmation that my table will be here on Monday. So Monday, I'm going to be doing some things around. So instead, I, I filmed a few more segments. Um, you're going to see a real interesting one on, on Thursday. Uh, this week is probably some of the best segments that I've, I've done in a while. You, hi, I hope you have a great weekend. Look at you. King Fat, how are you? So, um... Uh, this, this weekend, I'm, I'm actually going to tell you the lineup, how, how it's going to go. Uh, tomorrow, the tiger and me, myself, uh, we look at penguins because my grandson wanted to learn about penguins. So we did a, a thing about penguins and then, um, also tomorrow is another Super Bowl week, uh, thing. I found a really old game I dug up. Uh, an old football game. So we just kind of go over that uh, a little bit. Uh, so those two videos are then. Then Sunday is the start of the silent auction. Monday, uh, we do another lock and load video. Tuesday, we have... Now I'm going to forget. What did I make for Tuesday? Oh, oh. Uh, I actually show off everything that we have for Frostgrave. That's a good video too. Wednesday, uh, War and Pieces. Thursday, four, four Against Darkness versus D100. Which one's better? And we compare the two. Now, in that, I, I believe that they're coming out with an expansion for D versus 100. So I didn't include that because I didn't learn about it till today. Because I was actually going to try to do uh, D100 today. But instead, when I was cleaning and I said, okay, the table's coming on Monday and starting to make room underneath here. I decided to just find, I found a huge pile of stuff here for the library. So some of it's really old and some of it, eh, whatever. But I, I figured we'd go through it together. I thought that would be something different. It's always interesting to see what you might find in another man's basement, I guess, whatever you want to call it, studio. And this is just stuff that has been forgotten for ages, so... Let's, why don't we uh, take a look at it. Soul Razor, Slatherin, Charlie P. Man, everybody's here. Morpho. Man, man, this this just got good. It is. So, Jorge, how are you? Boy, we even get Jorge in here. Boy, th this is just fantastic, all the people that are in here. So, anyways, uh, we're going we're gonna to take a look at this. I'll, I'll take some of your commentary on it, and I'll talk a little bit about it, where I think I got it, or if I remember even if I where I got it from. Uh, but we have a couple of, uh, yeah, man cave, there you go. So we have a couple of different angles. We'll go down to the table. We'll start taking a look at some of this stuff. And uh, let's just have some fun and look through some things and just have a, a, a good hour together. I think that's the best way to do it. And tonight, tonight, Road to Moscow. I'm going to be playing that live on the PS4. That'll be live here uh, it, well, it'd either be tonight or tomorrow night. It depends, uh, whatever. But Road to Moscow, some point this weekend, live play on my PS4. Uh, a game by Ted Racier, who, the guy who gave us uh, the Dark Valley and the Dark Sands, which I can't wait to get the new table because it's going to make it easier to see things, put camera angles, and make it easier for Tina to see things too. So that is my main objective and once we get that table, we can, we, I could start phase three and a day later, we're up and where we want to be for the remainder of 2019. So I'm excited about it because we're going to be out here a lot. 
So, without further ado, hey, let's get going, huh? Kabuki! Ugh, I See, I was about to switch cameras, and I can't unless I say hi to Miss Kabuki. Mm, okay, there we go. All right, so which camera angle shall we use? Uh, this one here? Yeah, okay, we'll use this one. See, we have camera angles. That's that's not a bad thing. So we're going to be going through this pile of stuff, and I'm, I'm going to be pulling things off. And Some things you may recognize, some things you may not. Now, this here is a magazine from Flying Pig Games. Uh, excuse me, i got to get something to drink. My throat has been so sore. And I filmed two more episodes today, too, so I think you guys will really enjoy those, too. Another painting impossible and a big surprise. So there we go. So it's going to be a great week for videos. I hope you'll all tune in. All right, Christopher Martinez, how are you, my friend? Okay, so this here is from, oh my God. Uh, yeah, this is from um, Flying Pig Games. They do a magazine called Yeah. And it is a really good magazine. It, it co always comes with some kind of game built into it. You know, um, they really do a nice job of... I love Mark Walker and everything that he does. Uh, I haven't had a chance to crack this open, but, you know, boy, if I didn't know better, I would have just pulled this magazine and we would have tried to figure this game out. But instead, we're going to look at everything that I have over here. Oh, i got to make room. Okay, there we go. I'll just put it down on the floor there. Okay, what do we have here? Okay, that don't make sense. What? Uh, okay. Uh, this is an old miniature war wargaming system called Ares. It's the second edition. Boy, I don't even remember this. This is for, like I, I believe, like 15 millimeter uh, ancients, I believe. Yeah. Wow, this is old. I think it's old. <laughs> wow, there you go. David, Saeed, David, how are you? All these nice people that come and show up. This is a game that I painted everything for that we have to get to the thing. Now, the original version of this, this is Heavy Gear Blitz, and I always see this at, uh, oh, where the heck is it? Sometimes games from uh, magazines are gems. Yeah, and, and I've got a ton of them. And we're going to be taking a look at it, some, some really weird stuff. Uh, this game here was a big game in the 90s. These mechs were huge, though. They were like, they were. I think they were 164th. Uh, now they brought them down to 15 mil. Oh, no, not 15 mil. Uh, I'd say 20 mil. And uh, really nice. I painted everything for it. Uh, we have the actual rule book here. We really need to get going on it. And you can see how, how these mechs are. And I, I really, I, I'm really proud of the paint job I did on them because I really liked them. And I was like, oh man, we got to play this. Well, when we get the new table, now we have the rules for it. We should break those miniatures out along with Battletech. Now here's an oldie. Does anybody remember the original Battle Lore? Because I have everything for this game. Wow. Hold on here. Let's just go through this a little bit. Yeah, when Fantasy Flight was good, huh? The old days. Jeez, you know, and I think I have this painted too on top of it. Jeez. Von Deacon, what's up? Tom Cruel 76. Hello, loving this. I love the obscure stuff. That's what I, I'm obscure. This is an obscure channel. Nobody recognizes this channel. So, we do obscure stuff on obscure channels. And we have fun doing it. Why? Because we're a great community. That we are. Wow, look at this. Does anybody remember this? Uh... Oh, what? see? Oh, wow, look. The old dice. I forgot about those. Forgot about those. Here, let me uh, let me zoom you, you guys in a little bit. There we go. There we go. Wow. Yeah, it's first edition. First edition Battle Lore. I have it here. Uh, I think I was... This is an extra rule book that I had. Because, well, I just collect rule books. Oh, boy. <laughs> oh, let's go back in time, shall we? Let's go back in time. Uh, wow. Rick Priestley. Uh, 
Andy Chambers. Wow. Wow, wow, wow. Look at this. 1991. Some of you weren't even alive in 1991. Wow. Look at this. This is when yeah, they had a, a store in Baltimore, and that turned out to be their headquarters. Space Marine. Does anybody remember Space Marine? I'm trying to do this where you guys don't get chewed up. Oh, yeah, and they used to put the uh, additional cards in here. Damn, I miss this game. Yeah, you can cut stuff out if you wanted to. You know, I had all the, the all this Elven Lords. Oh, man, I miss these guys. Wow. Look at this. Uh huh. Epic fortifications. You know, if I keep on going, oh, a little modeling tips here. How to make your own bunkers. Texture paints. We'll be doing, we'll be, we're going to be doing a lot more of that. Look at this. Oh, man. The old epic Space Marine. Tell me if you guys are getting bored. I'll go on to something else. I don't. I don't want to bore you either. With my oldness. This is when they added in all the the epic forces. This is how they would do it. They would show you how to build those things. So you would have these stands, and then your your cards would be you would put it with them. And how that how it would show you how to put everything together. Just just fantastic. I miss the old style. I really do. It was so much fun painting that back in the day. Boy, oh boy. So much. So much fun. Hey, Space Hulk. We have this. We have this original version. There you go. Look at that. And who won the Golden Demon? Well, look at that dude. He won the Golden Demon that year. Come on, we could do that now. Noise Marines. They just brought. They just came out with this guy again. Remember the Noise Marine? Jeez. Weapon skill four. Ballistic skill four. Strength four. Toughness four. Takes one wound. Oh, oh, the old rank and file, huh? Come on now. Come on now. All right, so that's. That's, oh, and you, remember, you could buy bits. You could buy bits back in the day. Boy, this is, ugh, breaks my heart. See, we used to see these pictures like this and go, oh, my God, let's let's go down. Let's go buy this all, put it all together and paint it up and, and make it look like this. Ugh. Love me some space, Hulk. Never, never get stale. Nope. None of this stuff, for me at least, never gets stale. Um, well, here's an old magazine I found. It used to be 12, yeah, because we used to get it overseas. Holy cow. This is when gaming stores used to carry all this stuff. What year was this? Uh, it's got to be in the 2000s, I would think. Uh, come on. Give me a, uh, 2015. All right, so it's not that old. But um, I, I always enjoy these because I use these for different scenarios and stuff like that. And you can see that you can just go through. I, I, I always come up with ideas how to build different buildings off this. Uh, is this a white dwarf? I missed the cover. No, 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 no. This is a uh, miniature gaming, war gaming. And I think if you missed the cover of the last one, I'll show you the cover. Uh, yeah, that was a white dwarf. An old white dwarf I found. There you go. See? We always we pay attention to the people. We pay attention to the people. Always would get ideas and stuff like that. And, and they'd give you different rules and stuff like that. Just tons of stuff that you... You know, these magazines, I love reading them because it gives me ideas on how to do different things. All right. What's it? Oh... <laughs> Wow, there's an old, from 1981, an old wrestler magazine. You guys may not be wrestling fans, but hey, it's kind of funny when I find some of this. I actually worked for GW a while at uni. I sent the bits out by post 
Job title was Mail Order Troll. Nice. All right. We're going to keep on. We're not going to look through that. All right. This is, this is a great game. I still have this game. Vor. This is actually the book um, for the Growlers. The Growlers are one of the main enemies. Um, and they got all their battle tactics. I wonder if they got some good color pictures in here. No. But there's all these different types of creatures and stuff like that. Ah, here we go. Yeah, I have all this. I have all this. And they're taking on, I think they're called the Union or something like that. Um, but very, very, very cool. Very cool. Look at Ice Guardian pushing people around. Saying next. Easy, buddy. Everybody's got a little, a little something in, involved in here. It became the House of Organ and basically became Warhammer Magazine. There you go. But this is a very good game. Uh, these growlers are just nasty. They land on this planet of war. And it's just, yeah, see, I've got all this stuff. This is just, this is a great game. I will have to break this out and we will have to play this. Matter of fact, I have the box right over there, matter of fact. Here's another fa faction of the Razorbacks. So we'll show you what they look like. I won't go into their rule. What's this? Oh, wow. Even have the Fasacor card in it, huh? Wow. All right, hold on, hold on. They got to have some pictures in here. It, it, all right, you're going you're gonna to tick me off now. Come on, people want to see some pictures. Well, the Growlers, it's Razorback things. Same thing. Uh, that's a comic book. Green Lantern. <laughs> well, here's an old book. Spring in 19, 1993. Some of you were maybe just playing T-ball for the first time. There you go. The next was for the wrestling night. <laughs> no, I know. I know. Maybe there's somebody that wanted to see the, the wrestling magazine. I will stop for things that you want to see, Mr. Ice Guardian. Our good friend. Wow. Look at this. The Foundry. All right. Somebody call this number. Find out if they're still in existence. 216-871-4587. And let's order everything that they have. I'm sure they'll be able to. Ridgefield, Connecticut. Hey, I used to live there. I wonder if uh, they're still around. Huh. Huh. I always like looking at the ads. It's like one of my favorite things. Oh, Helen, how are you? Good to see you. Oh, wow, look at this. Game state. Does anybody remember the Geohex stuff? From the old days? You used to build uh, this, this incredible scenery. I have some up in the attic, a matter of fact. Uh, wow, look at this. Yeah, just a little old magazine. Hey, who else breaks out magazines like this? Look at this. Okay, here we go. 1-800-545-4926 to get a hold of the Commissary Games and Hobbies. What do they have from this list uh, from 1991? Are they still in existence? I wonder. There's only one way to find out, right? Oh, look. This guy has a painting service from 25 years ago. You send them all your miniatures and guess what? You may never get them back. There we go. All right. Let's keep going here. Um, just more comic books that got next. Oh, wow. Wow, 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 wow. Wow. Version 1.1 of DBA. Now, this is a fantastic little rule set. Um... I really love this because it's it's very much like chess. And everything that you need is right here. All of, everything movement um, how how they what they roll against um, foot and and mounted um, everything's there. The game is very very simple but impossible to master. I mean really it has campaign rules. Um, these here are actually the army. So army 174 uh, would come with three cavalry, two uh, light heavy, uh, no, um, oh god, two by twos, 
three by three of cavalry, a two by two of light hand, um, a two by four of broadsword. So th this is by by centimeter or or inches, I believe. And and you would put together these things, these elements, and these elements you would have eleven elements, and they would go up against the other eleven elements. So you have everything throughout history in these things. So if you want to fight the Greece, uh, uh, um, uh, well, let's let's just pick one out. So let's say early Armenian would fight early German. You can do it, okay? Uh, if you want to see what would happen throughout time. And it's just such a... Here's how the elements would work, and they would wheel in certain ways. And you would line up these things, and you would fight it out on a battlefield. And it would fight... You would only fight on a, by a two-foot by two-foot battlefield. I wish I had more pictures in here. But this is just the hardcore rules. But if you ever get a chance, just look up DBA uh, on, on YouTube. And I'm sure somebody has a video. But these rules are very hard to find. Wow. Fantastic. Really like it. Mm. Mm -mm -mm. Pentadragon miniature still around. Look at that. Okay, cool. Um, rule book for Robotech. Not a big deal. Uh... The latest, the first new Spike magazine. This is paperwork, paperwork. Nothing of interest. Um, oh, the new, uh, I got a bunch of those. Some dark eye stuff, which you guys aren't going to be interested in. Ugh. Let's move that over here because we've already gone over the dark eye stuff. Wow. Okay, here's the Neo Soviets for Vor. And let's show you some pictures of them. Yeah, these guys are cool. They're like mutated Soviets. And uh, yeah, it's on. And they would have these great. I have all this stuff. It's like ridiculous what I have. Oh, boy. Ain't these guys is so so easy. You're just boom 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 and you're done and off and running with the, with what I consider a very very good and fun game. Oh, I got yeah, I painted all those. Yeah, just really good good solid system. Uh, what do we have here? Uh, this is for another race. Uh, I don't think I have this race because I think they ended the game right then. This was done by FASA, by the way, so it ended up going away oh here's uh, some old old stuff spearhead was a, a, I would use for micro armor and it's very very good system um, as you can see here are the uh, charts it's been so long since I played it yeah you would put your battalion size and your rosters you would you would copy all these and hand them out to everybody here's Russia France uh, the United States, all the different things that you can have. Uh, just really good, solid rules. And you can play 15 or 28 mil. For you guys that know what's up, you know that. What's going on? That's for dog going, sure. I, haven't, I, I didn't even bother pulling out all the the D&D uh, &D stuff I have. Archon, wow. Ancient... Ancient supply. Okay, wow. Oh, this was two, two rules of Paquette. Um, these were very, these were heavy rules. They were very hard to understand. But this has been around 1998. So it's been around a while. So very old stuff. Oh, the old, remember, remember the old World Warhammer skirmish? Yeah. There you go. There's your wound chart and everything for it. There you go. What else do we got here? What's this? We have folders. Alright. Oh, Blood Bowl stuff. I would always print out the, the the rule books in case somebody didn't understand something. That's old. It's actually outdated, probably. 
Uh, yeah, in your record sheets. You have your Blood Bowl record sheets. you got to have record sheets to put your team. It would take me forever to pull it out, Kabuki, but I, I promise you one day we're just going to do D&D &D stuff. And uh, I think you'll throw up at what I have. Oh, man, this is a great rule set if you want to play. I, I actually use this, um, and it is just... It's really good. It's really detailed. Um, it's a little bit to get your head wrapped around, but very good system. Um, it works great with 15 millimeter. I really enjoy this. Tim, how are you? Oh, okay, here we go. Oh, another old, old magazine from 2001. Seven bucks back then. Oh, look. Look where I got it from. I'm going to show you. I got it from Connecticut, War and Pieces. The very the very name of our war segment is actually named after a store up in Connecticut that closed some time ago, which when I went back to Connecticut broke my heart because I wanted to say hi to everybody. They were such good guys. They were so good to me. And um, I miss that store. I miss War and Pieces. And uh, they just closed because, well, it was just time. Look at and and th this is what I loved about the old magazines. Um, taking and going through these magazines and just getting ideas on how to make battlefields that would would fit and stuff. Looking, examining, and going, yeah, I can do that. Okay, I can do that, and this would look good if I do this, that, and the other. Really, really, just some great stuff. Um, what else do we have here? You know, nobody's going to watch this video, but you know something? We're going to enjoy it, though, right? We're going to enjoy it while we're here. All right, so. Oh, man. Look at all this old. Look at. You know, I would look at these paint jobs, and they just make me want to get better at painting. And I think that's the thing that I always try to inspire is that I try to do a decent job so you guys look at it and go, man, I can do that. I know I can do that. And that's where it was all these dreams that you would have, just you know, imagining things out of these magazines that I would, that that primarily this you magazines like this and things like that are are the foundation of what this channel was about. It was it was just I remember those days I just sit there and daydream and read. Oh, fire and movement. How old is this? Hmm. It's got to be in the 90s, I would think. My curiosity, my curiosity. Oh, 1998. That's, I, I, well, I was right. Oh, this card game was so good. This was a good card game. Oh, man, I forgot about that. They, they came out with some really good card games that you could play. Uh, I'm looking. Look at that setup. Yeah, I know. And it, Metal Minis, that's for sure. Hard to catch the live when I'm doing slash AV stuff for work. So I'll have to be in and out. That's all right, Tim. This, this was such a good game. Such a good game. Oh, my God. You would roll dice. Oh, see, I got to break out that card game and play that damn game. Uh, the Last Crusade. I think you guys would really like it. They, it has some solo rules. You can't get the game, though. It's out of print, and I would feel bad playing it. And I think you guys would be like, oh, wow, I really want that game. Where am I going to find it? And then, of course, you know, oh, that big jerk showed us something that we can't get our hand. Oh, look at this. Buy two, get one free. I wonder if that still holds up at Desert Fox Games. Hmm. Just, I love these old magazines. Oh, computer. Computer. War in Europe. Now available for $59.95? Come on, man. But you can play War in Europe on your computer. SBI. Oh, Decision Games. I love those guys. I tried to contact them. Nothing. Tried to call, uh, contact a few companies. Nothing. That's what you get when you're a hack. But that's okay. Do you have up front? Probably somewhere. 
This is just a big pile. I don't even know what's in this pile, Kabuki. I, I, I found this under the table. And I said, ah, let's, let's go live with it. Oh, look at this. Does anybody remember this game? Star, Starship Troopers, the miniature game. Shows you how to do everything. This is a game that is a shame that it did not take off. I really like it. I stick. I think I have it still. Hmm. I mean, look at look. Oh man, look at. It shows you the techniques on how to get those guys. And then you want to build a table? Well, no problem. We'll show you how to. We'll show you what you need to do. Making weird rock formations and. Oh come on. Everybody has done the the last stand. It doesn't matter what game that you play. You always do the starship troopers where you're in the, the fortress and they're just coming from every angle. I do it in every type of game I can. And look at this. Look at some of the work that they're doing. Oh, It just makes you want to break out stuff and just start making your own stuff. And that's, that's just... Ugh, nevertheless... Let's keep moving on, or else we'll never get through it. What are we? Uh, Thirty-one minutes in, and I'm not even. I'm not even close. That's based on the movie, from the looks of it. Yes, it is. eBay has the Last Crusade for about fifty bucks. Oh, well, see, I don't eBay. I'm gonna have to get some. I, 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 I guarantee if you get it, it's it's such a cool game. Uh, this is a map of some sort. Oh wow, look. Um, I believe it has something to do with strategy and tactics. Oh, boy. Where do we find this one? Ooh. What do we have here? Oh, okay. See? <laughs> I love finding... I love finding stuff. I love finding stuff. Well, now we have a library. And I'm pretty excited about it. And, um... Uh, Every time I get, oh, 1999. So every time I get something from Osprey, uh, by the way, Christian, you are the best. Thank you. Um, we have a library, and we are going to showcase. We're gonna we're gonna do a segment where we just cover the library, and that's the whole point of putting the library together. We're gonna be doing D and D stuff. We're bringing back the D and D thing. Why? Because I like it. That's the only reason to do it, right? Hey, Blood Bowl Magazine. This is an old one. This one's from... It's got to be from early 2000s, I would think. Yeah, let's take a look. Uh, 2000. I was right. I was right. You can have... Oh, man. You would make all kinds of different teams. You would read people's letters and their updates. and uh, Just a lot of fun. A lot of fun. Does anybody remember that game? Huh? The only good bug is a dead bug. Uh, it was amazing. Oh, uh, the original. I have the original Starship. Oh, I have that one. Morpho. I have that. It's such a great game. I love when they just pop out of the ground and just ruin all your plans. So much fun. Oh, wow. Vampire Count Army for War Master. War Master was their version of 10 millimeter fantasy. Oh, I love playing this. Just, just beautiful, beautiful stuff. Always had different types of rules. And then how you can order it. You know, these magazines were, yeah, they were propaganda things, but who cared? They were great. And then they showed you where you can get all the great stuff. War Masters was just so much fun. Tough to put together, but fun to paint. Just fun to paint. In the year 2000, done in Conan and Brian's voice. <laughs> Uh, I love that stuff. Command decision. Oh boy. Uh, this is, I know the rest of it somewhere here. Um, but uh, this is part of it. That goes in here. But I have the rules. Uh, I have the latest version, which is, uh, the second edition. New revised third edition. Oh. Well, aren't I way off? Well, we end up doing a video on it, so... Get ready for it. Uh, because I didn't never opened the box, and I decided to open the box. Uh, Destiny Aurora. I was reading this. Uh, this is a comic book. 
We're going to be uh, tackling this game very soon. I think you're really going to like it. Frank Chadwick did a great job. All right, here is a game that... <laughs> I never even opened this supplement. Look at this. It's still sealed. This is this is something else. This is Demon World. Uh, I don't know if anybody remembers this, but this was a very, very good. Why were they propaganda? Oh, uh, what I meant by that, you know, maybe I misspoke. What they would do is, hey, here's our magazine. Here's all the new stuff you could buy. Um, that type of thing. They were just trying to it, they were giant sales magazines uh sometimes they would have some rules and stuff like that but basically it was game sh workshops brilliant idea to put out these magazines show off a new army talk all the way through it and get you to buy it and i fell for it every time it was it, it was a good thing it wasn't a bad thing so don't take it that way um but going back to this um this here was a very unique system demon world armies were 15 mil and um they were the, probably one of the most beautiful metal metal armies i've i've put together i mean i have all this stuff still somewhere around here and uh an unopened uh codex wow uh wow there's going 1978 army lists wow war games research group See, this is the way thing. No pictures in this stuff. We're just telling you how it is. Are you guys getting bored of this? Just let me know. Because uh, we don't have to keep going on this. I'm just kind of getting a kick out of this. Because I don't even know what's in this in these piles. All right. <laughs> Unopened, untouched, unscathed by man. Um, yeah. Yeah. Paid 20 bucks back in the day. And that was a lot for this rule set. Um, yeah, this was for American Civil War. And uh, as you can see, wow. These were the actual rules and everything for it. Still in the wrapper. <laughs> Maybe I'll throw that into one of the, uh, the boxes for everybody. Oh, wow. Here's an oldie. ASL. Eight scenarios for boards 46 and 47. Overrun flowchart, new terrain rules. Oh, boy. Wow. All right, well, let's just kind of turn this sideways. Try to... Oops. Woo! There we go. All right. All right. Wow. Oh, wow. Wow, I, 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 I forgot I even have these boards. Oh, please, just, okay. <laughs> wow. You want to talk about throwback? These things are, these are pretty mint, I would say. Huh? Wow. <laughs> well, they're decent. And here's all the different scenarios. I love the old ASL. I loved it. Look at this. All intact still. <laughs> oh boy. The stuff that you find. I'll be long gone and somebody else will maybe get a chance to play with some of this stuff. I have so much I just don't think I'll be able to play play it all. What a shame. What a shame. Ugh. Okay, now these I, I did catch an eye. Uh, on um, this is actually does anybody remember this swords and wizardry the complete rule book oh boy wow I forgot I even had this creating your character Wow. And then, of course, choosing your characters. And, how, oh, our favorite part. Well, now that you got your character together, how do we play this? Oh, we play it gloriously. Look at this. Oh. 
buried treasure. And, and you know, I still have another half of the room to go. I don't know what I'm going to find. I guess that's the beauty of being a, a gamer. You collect, you collect, you collect, and then all of a sudden you find some gold. Oh, look at this. This is just... Just old school. <laughs> Very beautiful. Oh, we're going to have to... We're gonna have to we're gonna have to dial this in at some point. We're gonna have to now this here I believe is yeah oh no this is lock and load we already saw this it must have just fell underneath there somehow but I do have the monster uh, compendium for that that I found all right what else do we have okay here's that command decision that I was talking about and um, how this. We, we talked about a box set of it, but I actually have the third edition rules of it. So this is great for all that micro armor I have. Really, really good indeed. And what's this? Oh, uh, does anybody know uh, Battleground? Um, the card game where you actually have the armies? This is the map for it. I have a full set of this. Very cool. Very cool. Did get together with some friends and play Gamma World. Had a blast. Gamma World is very cool. Right, let's see what else we got here. Another Ya magazine. You know, this, these are done very well. And if you get a chance, go to Flying, uh, Flying Pig Games and you'll see that you can order these. These are just very good. And, and the older issues come with, with all types of different games. Hey, I know this guy. That's my buddy right there. Oh, look, look at him. What the heck's this? All right, we're, we're going to have to fix that when we see him at Origins. That was 216? Wow. Well, I'm looking forward to going. That's his daughter. She's so nice. She's such a nice person. And, uh, wow. I'm just a little... Look how big these things are, man. See, that's that's the beauty is 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 being able to read a good shit, just a lot of fun. Oh yeah, but this magazine very well put together. Um, they talk about different types of games and stuff like that, and uh, they always come with something. They always come with something cool, like this one here comes with this particular game, Drury's Bluff, eighteen sixty four all comes inside here can't go wrong uh what do we got here oh here's another yaw magazine from 2016 race to the sea all right so now you have this game and you got all the components and everything in it with the cards everything i mean come on come on the guy's just killing it and doing it old school huh there was a little bug on there he's dead though uh, what do we got here? Oh, yeah, this is what I was talking about. This is what I talk about. This is a very, very good game. That's good shit right there. Ah, ha, ha. I like it. That's something the tiger would say. No, tiger's nice. But this is a very, very good, good game. You know, I can't wait to get the, the new... I'm going to... When I get the new table, I have the uh, sheet that goes over and we're, we're gonna break this game out and we're gonna give it a shot we're gonna we're, we're just gonna have some fun with it we're, uh, I got the markers and everything that we can clear off and just just do something different you know sometimes you just feel like doing something different a whole bunch of scenarios and stuff just just great old stuff you know what I mean you just don't make this stuff anymore Look at the undead. Very cool. Very cool. All right. What is this? Knights and Knaves. This is something that's old. Uh, yeah. I don't think I've ever taken this out, to be honest with you. Ugh. All right, I don't think I'm going to take it out. Knights and Knave rules. Oh, okay. Another War and Pieces thing. 
Yeah, um, if you have knights, you, I always look for different rules because I always try to find the thing that fits me the best. Well, that's an old rule set. Another thing for Battlefield. Um, all right, another Blood Bowl magazine, fourth edition rules. This is when they first introduced the Amazons, and they were nasty. They were nasty. Oh, this is the first official, first official Blood, Blood Bowl magazine back in the day. Jervis Johnson. Mm-mm. Those fourth edition rules were, were the best. Death never tastes any sweeter. Godzilla lover, how are you? And we're doing pretty good. We're going to keep this under an hour, which is exactly what I plan on doing. Very cool. Spearhead. We've talked about it. This is a very good uh, rule set. Here's some expansions for it. Blaze across the sands. Desert scenarios. Western front scenarios. And another courier magazine. Oh my God, look how old this is. Wow. 93. Paying four bucks for a magazine. Really? Fire and Fury. Wow. That's going back some time. Military Miniatures of Texas. Are they still there? I don't know. I don't know. I'm good, Godzilla lover. I'm just having some... Oh, Battletech. Oh, Battlescape. Just, oh. Put hexes in front of me and I'm a happy man. All right. Oh. DBA. Now, there's a difference between DBA and... Oh my God, what was the other one? DBA was on a bigger scale. Um, it's it's under there. I just don't know where it is. But it was uh, it's another rule set that you you could fight. They were both made by the same companies, but um, done so you can do it on a smaller scale. Oh boy! Wow! Oh boy! Oh boy! Oh boy! All right, eagles and lions. Wow. Yeah, so that's that huge pile that I found underneath the thing. Pretty amazing. Pretty amazing, if you ask me. Uh, really nice find, finding all that stuff. Um, uh, we're, 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 we're filling up that cabinet quick with all the books that I'm finding. And uh, I see that there's a bunch of books up there that i got to take down and i got to put in the library. But the library's filling up quick. And... Um, we just keep we just keep building stuff and keep building. I mean, just keep finding stuff, and uh, we're just gonna keep going forward with it. I mean, we're really doing really well and putting everything together. And I'm really excited about it. Um, I mean, what more can you say, right? All right. All right. So wow, we went 48 minutes. Like I said, I try to keep these live things to about an hour. So I'll take a few questions because we still have. We got about five, six minutes, even though we did a little Q&A yesterday. Um, fire away if you got something, something you want to see, something you're missing. Um, we're covering a lot, a lot of stuff. We're going to get it all done. Um, you're going to see a lot of stuff. I love the books. Are you in the attic? No, I am in my studio, which is in my garage. We rebuilt the garage. We sealed off the door. We added air conditioning because it is Florida and it gets hot. And that's the way we do that. Um, you didn't have to get ice, babe. There she goes. She walks away. She got ice. Uh, we're getting a new refrigerator tomorrow. So we don't have any ice. And I have to have ice. Uh, game area looking good. We're getting there. Toys in the Attic. His new show. Well, you never know. You never know. I've got enough. I still have a whole area there that um there's there's stuff from the 80s and the 70s and and uh I, as i work it out i will show you i promise you that joe how are you when are you playing uh, planning on um lock and load tactical playthrough and will it be and will it be the solo rules uh joe it's going to be both i'm going to do um Heroes of Normandy, I'm going to do 
regular and I'm just gonna play both sides because I want you guys to see that so we're gonna pick a nice small scenario beginner scenario and play that through then when I show you off the solo rules I will also be using that in one of the other the other theaters so I plan on doing both uh, to be honest with you uh, we are going to start doing that I got a new table coming in um, Monday so we're gonna install the table it's going to be a bigger area so we can get better, better uh, shots of it. Uh, Tom Cruel 76. What old school D&D stuff do you have? I think I have first edition all the way through to about fourth or f fourth edition. Uh, I got all the old modules and stuff like that. A lot of old, old stuff. You'd be surprised to see. It's quite quite a huge collection. Um, yeah, I take some time to show off the D and D stuff too. Yeah, no, definitely. I just found this big pile of stuff, and I said, eh, "Let me go on real quick and and show it off." Old school D and D next month, March in Lake Gene Geneva, Wisconsin. Uh, thanks, Rob. Looking forward to it, and thank. Thanks for your endorsement on the Game Topper. Just got mine, and I love it. Hey, it's a, it's a great thing, and it, it does make a big difference in your gaming. Uh, how badly do you want the Pats to lose on Sunday? Um, I really don't care. My son is a Pats fan. Um, I think the biggest problem that people have is they want to see him lose, but I, I think sometimes you have to take a step back and, and realize that you're in the middle of seeing something that you may never ever see again and i think sometimes whether you like it or not you have to marvel at it and respect it and if he wins on sunday i mean what i mean what do you say i mean what do you say that's all i can say about that uh you know something um um matter of fact um uh i i got a nice little note from um uh, after the review, uh, I think it's a channel on, on YouTube. Uh, I'm hope I'm saying it right, but Steve, uh, wrote and he really liked the, uh, top five football games of all time. And he said, Hey, you should do more. I go, well, why don't we have you come on and, and do some. And he said, yeah, sure. So after the holidays, uh, well, after the holidays, after the Super Bowl, we're going to sit and talk a little bit and, uh, you know, maybe do something together. That'd be kind of neat to take a look at different sport type of games um, just something different, you know, something different. <laughs> yeah, he's insane, but I still hate him. Leave poor Tom alone. He's like Cristiano Ronaldo, okay? You, who wouldn't want to be him, all right? Cristiano Ronaldo is probably the best-looking guy on the planet, has more money than we'll ever have, and, 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 and physical skill that, that is ridiculous. Somebody... Uh, Somebody should clone that guy, honestly. And, you know, you can say the same about Tom. Tom's got it all, does it all. Good for him. Are you going to get any of the new figures, toys coming out for the new Godzilla movie? Of course. They'll be here. Uh, folk, Lore, The Affliction, or Gloomhaven? Do you have a preference? Wow, that you know, that's a tough one. I got to say that one's a dead heat for me. Um, the only, th here's the thing, and, and, and let's talk about it. Gloomhaven, to get through, you, you look, you know, you put three pieces down and you go, oh my God, we'll be done with this in about five minutes. No, it goes on for hours. It gets bogged down sometimes with its combat and stuff like that. Well, the same thing happens with folklore. But the thing I like about folklore is all the beautiful miniatures, the giant map, the role-playing bit of it. I love the same thing with Gloomhaven, too. They both are similar in a way, but very different in a way. Um, it's, it's, if I had to pick one, boy, you know, I think I just got to play Gloomhaven more to answer that question, to be honest with you. But right now, I would say, just, just to give you an answer, because I, I don't cower from an answer, I, I think Folklore Affliction. I really like how it plays out. Uh, I'm super close to LG. 
I never gone to Gary Khan. Ah, Tim, 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 you don't know what you're missing. Seriously. Oh, there we go. All right. So I think we covered it all. I think we hit it all. Uh, this weekend, you're gonna. I'm going to be live on PlayStation playing a war game. I hear you about the time factor for Gloomhaven. Thank you. Chad Roberts, how are you? Robert Rob's Tripod World. Well, of course, because we were showing stuff off. You come in last second and, and you wreck everything. But boy, you keep it up, I'm going to introduce you to some more games and get you to spend a lot more money and, and, and make your your beautiful wife get angry with you. I uh, wasn't sure if you liked the new monster designs. I was happy with them. Of course, I, I love Godzilla. And I love what they're doing. KGF and Gamer. Do you like marshmallows? Hmm. Let me get back to you on that one. <laughs> King Fat. Laughing. Gave us a little LOL. All right. I think, I think we've said it all. I think we covered it all. We're at 56 minutes. Just the way I like it. Kabuki. Heh. <laughs> Tripod like War of the Worlds. Yeah, that was a. I love that movie too. Sounds like fun. I'll be mostly around. No, you won't, Helen. You've been skipping out on the channel. You've been cheating on us. I know. I have spies. We're going to have to talk after this. I'm kidding. Uh, that's right, KK. Uh, oh, yeah. See, well, it was because I had these tripods looking down here so we can look at all these magazines and stuff. I don't know what to tell you. Wait till the bigger table and uh, I, do, I set up the lights. Uh, Tom Crow, thanks. Love this. I'm glad you enjoyed it. Hey, listen, I enjoyed it. I had a great time. Listen, you will see me live either tonight or tomorrow night playing uh, a, a really cool war game. I hope you join us. I think you'll have a lot of fun. Um... We've got a lot of great videos going forward after tomorrow. Uh, again, for those of you that that don't like the tiger, uh, we've got a video coming out with the tiger about penguins tomorrow from my grandson and actually a few kids that have written in. So if you have kids that, that uh, want to see a certain animal or want their name called out by our little friend the tiger, just let me know. Send me an email at novaprime860 at hotmail.com. Um, you know, we're, we're here. I, I really enjoy doing that little segment that really makes me happy and it, it, it and i'm going to do it for quite some time because i've got a lot of grandchildren so um and very in agents three and under so for the next couple of years it's going to be all about animals and crafting and things like that just once a week morpho goodbye thank you so much for watching i, I appreciate it and and i hope you forgive me for that it's not board game related but it's something that means something to me and it's a way i connect with my my grandson, my granddaughter, uh, my soon to be grand grandchild, um, friends who have children who have said it that they really like the tiger. It it fills something inside me, and I just enjoy doing it. So I hope you forgive me for that and enjoy it. And um, just don't watch it if you don't like it. That's the best way to put it. Um, this week, I think, is some of the best videos you see. I'm actually going to change. I'm going to shoot another War in Pieces. Because I, I, I just looked at some rules that I just saw pass by. And I think I'm going to reshoot it. <laughs> so, And I pushed that one off a few times, too. Or I just may leave it and just get it done with, what can I say? Uh, but the rest of the week, I think, is, is some really thought out and some good stuff. I really think, you know, we've hit our groove the last couple of months. Um, we've been consistent, we've been dead on, and we've been having a lot of fun. And it shows, and I feel it, and we just got to get out there. Godzilla, love you and all you do. Oh, I love you too, Godzilla lover. You, you know that. And all of you, you mean the world to me. Thank you so much. And now that we are at the one-hour mark, I'm going to say goodbye. Hope you all have a great weekend. And don't worry, I'll see you soon.